when it comes to digital sculpting, no tool comes closer to ZBrush. ZBrush has been known as an industry standard tool for sculpting as it holds its own when it comes to digital sculpting. This tool has been heavily used by both industry professionals, students, 3D illustrators, 3D printing enthusiasts, and so much more. Now, prior to ZBrush being purchased by the folks at Magazine from the folks at Pixel Logic, which came with a lot of controversies owing to the fact that perpetual licenses were no longer favored by the folks at Magazine by simply switching to subscription base for ZBrush and the very popular Pixelogic free updates were no longer coming to ZBrush, caused a bit of an uproar and a lot of people did switch from ZBrush to Blender. And of course, Blender has some very cool things going for it. However, some of the things that you get to do on Blender requires a couple of nice add-ons to get things going. And of course, for those who are thinking about getting nice add-ons that they can work with in Blender, especially for those who are thinking about using Blender as a primary tool for sculpting, there's a ton of things that are currently on sale right now from the folks at Superhive as the spring sale is currently ongoing. Links to these are going to be in the description and more on this later. Now, prior to the purchase, Pixelogic did have a couple of other tools that they created before. One of them was ZBrush Core, and ZBrush Core was more of a stripped down version of ZBrush. And this was aimed at anyone that was trying to get started with 3D, and possibly you want to get into ZBrush, but don't want to deal with some of the unnecessary parts that came with ZBrush. And ZBrush Core was targeted towards indie artists and also 3D enthusiasts. And for those that just wanted to test out, see what digital sculpting was, they also had a tool called Sculptries. And over time, in 2020, Sculptries was updated and called ZBrush Core Mini. And this was a non-commercial edition of ZBrush, which was totally free for anyone to play with. And of course, it did come with a minimal version of what you get with ZBrush Core. And ZBrush Core, on the other hand, was more of a cheaper version of ZBrush itself. Now, fast forward to sometime in 2021 and 2022, the folks at Magzone purchased Pixelogic and all of these tools were now under them. Now, since then, there have been no significant update to ZBrush Core, nor ZBrush Core Mini. Rather, we've seen some interesting updates come over to ZBrush itself, and there's been a new version of ZBrush for iPad. So it kind of looks like the folks at Magzone were already thinking about shoving these ones out. And yes, that is what it is at this point, as the folks at Magazine have actually come through to announce that ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini will now be entering into limited license mode. And this is going to start off on the 30th of May 2025. And from this date, ZBrush Core will not be available for purchase nor will Core Mini be available for download anymore. So existing users that are currently using the software, which is the ZBrush Core or maybe ZBrush Core Mini, can continue using them. However, no enhancements will be released. Monthly subscription license for ZBrush Core will be renewed up until September the 30th of 2025, and technical support for ZBrush Core will be provided until the same date, which is, of course, September 30th, 2025. And this is what things look like now. So the folks at Magzone are putting ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini into limited maintenance mode, which is possibly going to beg the question because there has been literally no updates to these things over time. Now, for those who might be wondering in terms of comparison, what this looks like, if you simply go over to this link, which I'm going to put in the description, you will be able to see the comparison between ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini. These are the comparison table right here. And of course you can come through and check them out. And for those who like to download ZBrush Core Mini right now, because this is just the limited time that you've got to get this, you can simply click on the download button and it's gonna bring you right here where you can register or simply enter an email that you've got. Now, once you do that, this sends you an email, then you can download ZBrush Core Mini and start working with it. And once you install this, you can see that this has not had any update whatsoever since 2021. Now, firing this up, you can also see that things look exactly the same way they've always been. So for those who have no idea what ZBrush Core Mini looks like, this is basically what it looks like. So right here, you can choose to start with a sphere or you can choose to start with a simple mesh. So depending on what you want to start modeling with or start sculpting with, you can select any of these ones and start working with it. Now, the base idea behind this is from Sculptries, which is the tool that we've just mentioned previously, and this uses the same Sculptrees technology, which is now called Sculptrees Pro, to actually get things going. So in this case, if you start doing stuff like this, if we switch to our polyframe, you can see that we've got a little bit of a detailed thing going on there. If we reduce the size of our brush and then we brush a little bit more, you can see that this is more like what you've got like Dean Topo when you're working in Blender. So in this case, we have something like that and you can start you know, doing some very cool modeling stuff with this or sculpting stuff, depending on what you're trying to create. Another interesting thing that comes with ZBrush Core Mini 
is the chisel brushes so with the chisel brushes there's a few things that you can do we can choose to throw in a nose so i can actually come in here say maybe we would like to throw in a nose create a character with nose we can simply go ahead and do that if we'd like to throw in some ears as well we can so we can have that selected you know go about a point like this thing that is the wrong side so we can come through and we can make an ear right here we already demoed something like this previously so just in case you've seen it again this is what it is and then of course we can throw in an eye so we can say maybe we'll like to have a character eye like so there you go so you can easily use this to block out stuff sculpt stuff and get things going so this is pretty nice however this being discontinued is something i don't really get the idea about and um, I guess the folks at Magzon possibly know why they want to discontinue this. I just think a tool like this should be left free for those who might want to just get started with playing with clay in 3D and making their very own scope. One thing is sure, the folks at Magzon are leaning towards creating more stuff for ZBrush or iPad and possibly they're advancing towards that part. As we've seen a couple of new announcements, features and cool stuff make it to ZBrush for iPad. I love the idea that they're trying to put this tool into a much more minimal device. However, keeping tools like this for free for anyone who would like to get started with playing with digital clay will be pretty nice. And speaking of which, if you're into ZBrush or possibly you're trying to get started with ZBrush, maybe you want to learn how to create characters and stuff. There's a character art tutorial bundle which is currently available right now. We already covered this. So just in case you like to learn how to create advanced stylized characters, maybe you want to learn how to do all of the whole character pipeline from ZBrush all the way to rigging them animating them, possibly posing them and rendering, doing all the texture stuff for stylized character, triple A character stuff, and maybe weapon stuff as well and assets. Then you can simply come through, check out this character at tutorial bundle, which is currently doing a flash flash sale. And this is going to be running out pretty soon and grab it for $15 for all five items. And for those that are thinking about switching to Blender and maybe you like to start learning how to make your own 3D sculpt or even sculpt in Blender, there's a ton of courses that can get you going. All of these courses are now available on Superhive and you can get them for 25% off. These are amazing courses that will teach you most of the fundamentals of how to get started with making your own 3D sculpt. And of course, if you're looking for sculpting tools that you can work with, there's a ton of them right here on Superhive can get you started. The folks at Superhive are running the Superhive Spring Sale from now till the 26th of May 2025. So if there's anything you like to get on Superhive right now, this might just be the right time for you to come through and grab them for 25% off. So for those who are thinking about checking out these ones, or maybe you'd like to read up on the announcements from the folks at Magzone, as ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini are entering limited maintenance mode, links to all of these are going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section, and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.